you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Birdie coming at you fast with some more Black Ops 3 pub stomping gameplay and today the gameplay is involving a sniper rifle which I have not been doing too often on my channel but recently I've been using a sniper rifle to try and get the diamond camos for them so enjoy this gameplay, I do pretty well, I finished the game off 53 and 8 this is the second half of domination game after I go 19 and 3 the first half so I go 32 and 5 the second half, did I do that right? I might be retarded I might be slightly retarded, my math might be off, I'm sorry I didn't really try and count that but anyway today we're gonna be talking about my first kiss, my first very, very awkward kiss. I have a lot of awkward stories for you guys, and you guys seem to enjoy my blue ball story, so I decided to go with another story for today's video. Um, if you guys do enjoy these videos, like these story time videos, then make sure you guys hit that like button. It lets me know if you guys really do like them and if you want to see more, because I have a lot of stories. <laughs> a lot of stories. Especially now, since I finished my first semester of sophomore college, there's a lot to be told. So anyway... So this is actually, so this did not happen at home. So my parents are gamblers, and they like to go to Reno. For those of you who don't know, I live in California, and Reno is in Nevada. So it's only like three and a half hours away for driving. So it's not that bad. So they like to go to this one casino resort there, because they are VIP members there. So they get free tokens to play, pretty much. Uh, tokens, like fucking arcade. Yeah, right. They get free cash, you know, like vouchers to play in the casino for free. Uh, they get VIP suites, pretty much all-inclusively paid for. As long as they play for a certain amount of time. It's like, it's crazy. Like, I get my own sweet room. Literally, it's a sweet room. But it's also a suite. So it's a really big room. It's awesome. They have their own room. I have my own room. And it's just this awesome, awesome place. So in this casino resort, there is an arcade as well. And this happened when I was 13 years old, by the way. 13 years old. So I just finished middle school, 13 years old, uh, I'm going to be 14 years old in time of high school, but I just finished middle school, and I have not had a relationship at this point, I have not had a real relationship or anything, not much exposure to girls whatsoever when it comes to that regard, so... I go to the arcade because I like the arcade at this age after dinner and I get some tokens and there's the, uh, the Guitar Hero, right? Guitar Hero Arcade Edition. So I love playing that because I'm a really big fan of Guitar Hero. I can play the expert levels and all that. So, you know, I'm just playing Guitar Hero. I'm playing Guitar Hero, playing Guitar Hero on expert. And, you know, sometimes you get a little bit of a crowd because it was a busy night. I think it was a Friday night or a Saturday night. It was pretty busy and there's lots of kids and people there, parents with their kids. And I was playing like this... I was playing Helicopter on Guitar Hero 3, if you guys remember that, Helicopter, this -na 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 that one, like, it's super, super fast, and there's a lot, it's pretty easy, though, because the notes are kind of similar, but anyway, I was making it look really easy, because I love that song, and I played that song a lot, and I was playing it on Expert, and I was hitting all the hard parts, and I was going, like, 400 note streaks and all that, and... Um, I was starting to get a little bit of a crowd, and two of those people in that crowd were two girls who were about my age. I won't say their names, but one I thought was pretty cute. The other one was also pretty cute, but I liked the other one better. Anyway, uh, they approached me after I'm done with the game, and they're like, Hey, you know, that was awesome. You Do you actually play guitar and stuff like that? And they just start small talking, and I'm really clueless, and I have no idea what's going on or like why they're talking to me. But we're just hanging out, right? We're just playing more games. We play some Dance Dance Revolution together because I like that game as well. And then, you know, we're chilling, we're talking, uh, just hanging out. And somehow in the conversation brings up that yeah, that, yeah, you know, I'm staying in this hotel. My parents are VIP members. We get suites. We get our own rooms. You know, I have my own room. And then the cute one, the frisky one, I'm going to call her Miss Frisky because she was pretty damn frisky. Like, she was a hoe. I'm <laughs> looking okay, just like, she was a hoe. And um, she's like, yo, do you have a, so you have your own room, right? It's like, can we go see it? And at this point, it's like, oh, shit, a girl just asked if she can come into my room. But I'm, at this age, I have no idea what's going on. Like, I think nothing of it because I'm super innocent, right? So we go up to my suite in my room, and we're just chilling and hanging out. I'm showing them around and everything. Like, oh, it's really, really cool. There's a bar here, the bed, or whatever. And they're like, okay, cool, cool. So we just talk, hang out, nothing really crazy happened. And they leave. And I close the door, I'm like, wow, okay, that's cool. You know, met some new friends here, that's pretty nice. And five minutes later, they knock on my door again, and it's the frisky one. And she starts talking to me, I was like, hey, you know, my friend over there thinks you're really cute. And she's never kissed a guy before. Can you, would you like to kiss her? It's like, do you want to help her out and kiss her? I was like, wait, what the, f like, in my head, I was like, what the fuck? This bitch just literally asked me. Do I want to kiss her friend? And I've never kissed a girl before, but I gotta play it off, you know, I gotta be cool, right? So I was like, yeah, sure, of course, I mean, I, I guess, right? That's pretty cool. And so, you know, being the gentleman, I gotta, you know, help out the lady. 
So, <laughs> anyway, they go into my suite, right? They go into my room, and we're sitting on the couch there, and it's kind of awkward because we're just sitting there, you know, staring at each other. And the frisky one's, like, coaching us, like, come on, go ahead, go ahead, kiss each other. Anyway, I had to make the first move. It was kind of awkward. Didn't really know what I was doing, but she ended up liking it, I guess. I ended up liking it. We ended up hanging out for another extra couple days. Nothing really happened besides that. And then I had to leave back home. And we exchanged Facebook information, but we never talked again because that was like one of the weirdest experiences ever. I kissed a total random stranger, and it was just, I don't know. I had, it was just so weird. It was so awkward. Like, I had to ask to be kissed. It's, I don't know. That is weird. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed that story. If you did, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good, good stuff. As always, make sure you all have a wonderful day.